Scream Fortress is right around the corner, which means we'll be seeing some brand new Halloween maps added to the game. And since TF2 now supports vScript, it's likely that some of the maps that get accepted will utilize it in some fashion. And when that happens, I'll do my best to cover the interesting stuff. This map is a reskin of CP Badlands, but just calling it a reskin is a gross understatement. While other Halloween maps have a singular theme, like a spooky carnival or haunted farm, Holy Hell throws that idea right out of the window and instead has two. On blue side of the map is a town themed after Rottenburg centered around this giant gothic cathedral, and on red side is this raging inferno and castle. Both sides have been violently split down the middle in what appears to be some sort of interdimensional gateway, which I'll talk more about later. First, I'd like to quickly thank the sponsor of this video, Shockbite. They kindly offered me free server hosting for all of my TF2 events and are also offering 25% off all first time purchases through the link in the description, so be sure to check them out. I spoke with Pancake Bro, one of the map's creators, who told me that he was originally going for a more heavenly look for Blue Side, but couldn't quite get things looking how he wanted to, so after a couple of drafts, he ended up with this. The fiery part, which Iron made, is themed after the city of Necrovol from Doom Eternal, the essence of hell whereas the other part, made by Pancake Bro, is themed after gothic architecture and the binding of Isaac. The hellish buildings, which are more so just some mining entrances protruding out of this giant rock mass saturated with magma, are just as interesting on the inside. Below this small network of rails is what used to be a section of mine which is slowly being filled with lava. I also really like these candles placed up around the ceiling because they give us just enough light to see the incredible detail up there. Just outside of the map by Blue's control point is a thick lush forest and a calm windmill moving slowly with the breeze. The complete opposite of what lies on red side, a bubbling river of lava with sharp jagged peaks. Moving inside of the gothic cathedral, things feel a lot brighter. The halls are decked with candles, pews, and windows, some of which have this really cool looking volumetric lighting effect. Hanging on one of the walls on the bottom floor is a parody painting of Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper, where we see that heavy is Jesus, and right above it on the second floor, Michelangelo's The Creation of Adam. Pancake Bro actually mapped out these scenes in Hammer and inserted the characters in using SFM, an incredible amount of time put into a small detail like a painting. I love it. Centered around Blue's first control point is this huge organ, Unfortunately, it doesn't play anything, not even when Red captures the point, but given the rapid pace of this map's development, as described by Iron, I'll let it slide. On the roof of the church are four portraits of God alongside this golden trim lined with Latin, which translated into English reads, You are blue and on this map I will build my base. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of unboxing. It's a reference to St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City, whose Latin actually reads, You are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and to you I will give the keys of the kingdom of heaven. But the Latin isn't the only thing this cathedral shares with the church. Those four pictures of God actually exist in the basilica too, and looking at the map top down, we see that it's shaped like the cross. Red's castle, unlike the cathedral, is anything but holy. The floors are all made up of cracked concrete, there's lava everywhere, and the control point has the appearance of a cell that once held a creature but has since broken out. One disturbing detail that you probably wouldn't notice in-game is this mound of dirt above the stalactites that's littered with bones and human remains. They are more noticeable in this hallway off to the side if you want to take a better look. Okay, let's finally talk about the middle of the map, which is undoubtedly the coolest part. I already showed the crack at the start of the video, so let's take a closer look at the sky. It's literally cut in half and lined by this eerie green glow made by Stuffy. It also emits this really cool portal sound that really makes it feel like you're hopping dimensions. Now you may be wondering how the mappers managed to do this with the sky. Pancake Bro came up with this brilliant idea to create a fake skybox made from a model wrapped around blue section that uses the environment map shader parameter. I won't explain how or why this works in this video, but if you'd like to know, check out this short where I go into more detail. If you look at the center control point, you'll see that the wood on one side looks different than that on the other, and that's because blue side is lit up with the light environment entity, whereas the red side is lit up by these light spot entities suspended in the air, and along the crack is a block light brush that prevents the light from red side from reaching over. 
and to prevent the light environment entity from affecting red side, they cover the entire part of the skybox brush facing red side with more block light brushes. To put it simply, getting the lighting to work sucked so bad. You can find a link to the map and its creators down in the description, so be sure to check it out and give it a rating. Thank you for watching, this is LED switching off.